to be talking about how to brew coffee with a Chemex. My name's Gia. I'm the general manager here at James. You've met me before. I'm Sarah. She also works here at James. We're still wondering fully what she does. Before we get into it, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can see what we put out next. Comment down below if you have other brew methods that you want to see us cover. So what do we need to get started? For a Chemex, for brewing a Chemex, uh, you'll need a Chemex. A Chemex. Um, they come in different sizes. Um, you can get little baby ones for a single cup. You can get big giant ones if you got guests or friends, your friends. Or if you drink a lot of coffee. If you drink a lot of coffee by yourself. A Chemex is just another version of a pour over. So this tutorial is gonna be very similar to the V60 tutorial. So if you wanna look back at that, we might go a little bit more into depth with why we're doing things in that video. If you feel like you're missing something or need a little bit extra help, go ahead and go back to that V60 video and check it out. What else do we need besides the Chemex? We'll need a kettle with a gooseneck. So this guy right here is perfect. You're gonna need coffee and you'll have to have it ground. So you're gonna look for a grind that's close to that like sand-like texture. The coffee we're brewing today is a very exciting and special coffee that's hitting the shelves this week. Yeah, it's out, it's available now. It's uh, available now on the shelves in all of our locations and on our website, it's in El Salvador. It is an anaerobic honey processed coffee. So it is wild. If you're into coffees that are a little Wild bit fermenty, a little bit funky, like it's definitely a fun one for that. So we figured we'd make a big batch of it so we drink it. The last thing that you'll need for the Chemex is a Chemex filter. The Chemex filters are actually, um, if you unfold them, they come already folded up like this, but if you unfold them, it's just a little sheet of filter paper. So really, really basic. They fold it into this little fours. And what it basically sets you up is it gives you a cone. And what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna look for one of the pockets here. You're gonna take one sheet and leave three on one side here and then you're going to take it and kind of open it up so it's cone shaped here you're going to take the thicker part here and you're going to put that in front of the spout here basically what this does is protects this from collapsing into the spout here and it leaves a nice little part where air can get through so that as the water dripping through it doesn't like create a vacuum, vacuum. and it won't drip out so i am honestly authentically learning right now <laughs> this is not for youtube i'm legitimately floored once i've got that set um, a lot like the v60 i'm just going to kind of hold this in place and rinse my filter. I just hold it in place until the water hits it so it kind of attaches to the glass. I'm rinsing my filter. That kind of gets rid of any like papery taste here. I'm also pre-wetting my vessel here. So now it's ready to go for me to put coffee in it. So now I'm just gonna get rid of this um, rinse water here and I'm just gonna pour it out through the spout here. Your filter should stick just fine. I'm kind of like just touching it just in case. That's now it. we're ready to add our coffee. We're gonna do our standard 15 to one ratio with this today. So we're gonna put 48 grams of coffee in here and we're gonna actually put 720 grams of water in this. Um, it's a fairly large Chemex, so um, we're making a big batch. Big boy batch. Same thing as we do with the V60. I'm just gonna give it a little shake just to level that bed out so it's nice and even. I'm gonna tear my scale out and now I've got it back to zero so I'll be able to pour my 720 grams of water. Good news for you guys at home. If you made the V60 and you thought, this is too many numbers to remember, the Chemex seems to be only slightly simpler. It's a little bit less simpler. It's a little bit less looser. Sense. We're making a bigger batch, so things are gonna be a little bit easier in general. So we're gonna start with 100 gram bloom on this. So I'm gonna pour 100 grams of water in there. As soon as I start pouring, I'm gonna start my timer. My total bloom time is gonna be between 30 and 45 seconds is what I'm kind of going for here. Same as the V60, we're gonna start in the middle and kind of do a little bit of a spiral outward. We never really wanna rinse the edges of that filter though, so we're just gonna go ahead and go for it. I'm gonna do it? Yeah, 100 grams. I'm gonna do it. Go, 100 grams. The purpose for a bloom is to actually like let the coffee kind of gas off a little bit. Pre-wet in the grounds opens it up, gives you a little bit more flavor complexity. Go ahead, you're gonna pour it to 720 now all together. Slowly. Slow, slow, slow that stream down. I'm slow, slowing it there down, I'm slowing like it down. Like a pour over, see it pour way too fast. This does not have a constrictor in it. That's it, we got 720 grams in there and now we're just waiting. So my goal in here is that the total brew time is gonna be between three and a half minutes to four and a half minutes. It's a pretty big batch that's pretty standard for a batch this size. This one's actually pretty spot on, like four minutes, 20 seconds, 25. That's it. Pull out your filter and toss it and you are good to go. That's for you, That's for hot me. coffee Enjoy. drinker. I get to be in this episode. Cheers. 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 Pretty delicious. It's actually pretty like full bodied this one. That's so good. Because this was four and a half minutes, I would say you could pull it back if you wanted to get more brightness out of it and coarsen up the grind and get it a little bit closer to like three and a half and then yeah. get more brightness. But if you like a fuller body cup, 
find that grind up we and it. make it take a little bit longer. Obviously you're in control of the water, but you're also in control of your grind size, your rate at which you're adding water, agitation, all that. So if you like a specific thing to happen when you brew coffee at home, you can shoot for that or you can manipulate it and play with it. Where like a batch brewer, you have a little less play. Chemex allows you to make very large batches of hand brewed coffee um, and it's, they're always pretty good. Uh, they're a little bit harder to mess up than a B60, uh, more forgiving. So that's why a lot of people like them for that. But they come in different sizes and like finishes. So they're really beautiful pieces to have in your home. If this is something that interests you and that you want to give a shot, we actually have three sizes of Chemex available at James at Home in the back of Little Italy and on our website, jamescoffeeco.com. That's all we've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you are subscribed to our channel, that you like this video, and then leave us a comment for what you want to see us do next. Um, thanks again. That's it. Follow next week to see what Sarah does for dudes. It's not a good video. <laughs> right. Sarah, how do you brew coffee with a Chemex? Um, I don't know. Liquid that. Murder your thirst. You're gonna need a kettle with a goose neck. Goose neck. The purpose of rinsing our filter is to rinse the purpose. <laughs> if this brew method seemed like something that you want to try or something you'd want to add to your repertoire of home brew methods. I thought you were going to say add to your resume. <laughs> That's all, all we right. got for you today. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to jump in. That's all we've got for you all today. Thank you so uh, much for watching. No. <laughs> That's all we got for you all today. That's all, folks. Uh